Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay. That's good. Well, what did you do today? Oh, I learned today. Mm -hmm. How about in the weekends? I play. Okay. What did you play then? I... Not, not I play. I stay at home and watching TV or reading books or eat or sleep. Oh, okay. Just having a normal day. Yes. Yes, I see. I thought you went outside. You didn't? Um, no, because it's COVID-19. Oh, yes, yes. I understand. Okay, so how about the weather for today? Was the weather fine? Yes, the weather is fine. Okay, that's good. So anyways, today we're going to learn your book. So I'm going to share it with you, okay? Okay. Okay, please wait. Okay, here it is. Can you see your book? Yes, I can see my book. Okay, so we're going to talk about have you ever. Okay, so let's listen to Nadir talk about the chart. So Celine has climbed a mountain. Adil and Nazanin have traveled to another country. I have stayed awake until midnight. No one has touched an elephant. So that's what okay, Nadir talks about. Okay, let's try to talk about this one in the chart. Have you ever climbed a mountain? Celine, have you ever climbed a mountain? No. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. But do you want to try? I think it's dangerous or fun. Mm, it's, or it's, cold. And it's cold, definitely. But it's not dangerous if you have your parents with you, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. But are your parents um, able to go to the mountain or climb the mountain? I think able. Ah, uh, they have. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, okay. And next, have you ever traveled to another country? No. I travel in Vietnam, not other country. Uh, only in Vietnam, inside Vietnam only, not yes. in other country. Okay. How about have you ever stayed awake until midnight? I stay for a TED or have some football match or can I cannot sleep, so I stayed awake. Oh, until midnight? Yes, until midnight. One or two. 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. I sleep oh, until really? you. Yes. But it's not really? all the time. Yes, not all the time. Sometimes have 10 holidays. Uh -huh. They burn the fire fireworks in midnight. So I, I stayed awake to watch. Oh, it's like a new year, right? New yes, year celebration. new year. I see, yes. Okay. But it's not good if you will stay awake until midnight all the time, right? Since you're still yes. a kid, you're not going to do that. So uh, sometimes it's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. have you ever touched an elephant? No, because I see an elephant, but I don't touch it. I think it's dirty. <laughs> yes, but you aren't scared. It's just that they are dirty. Yes. <laughs> okay, so that's good that you have saw them. Uh, yes. Uh, in the zoo. In the zoo. Okay. Me, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't yet. Yes, because in our country, it's very rare to see an elephant. <laughs> yes, but in Vietnam, there are many, right? There are, there are some zoos have elephants. Oh, not all zoos have. Yes. Okay, I see. All right. But the elephant I saw is big and uh, wow. friendly, not a 
not angry like a yes not like, angry. <laughs> like other animals yes yes wow that's great yes i, I think I... touch them is easy if oh. they're not dirty <laughs> yes because sometimes they're going to um, put their nose on the mud yes so they'll got dirty that's why okay so now let's talk about um, having an interview so we're gonna use have you ever okay so the have you ever question okay for example have you ever played and have you ever touched have you ever traveled or you can also use other um, verbs okay to connect your question okay so we'll try to do uh, the sample questions here have you ever played basketball yes i ever played basketball you have um on what grade were you um grade three. Oh, that's cool and have you still um playing oh i still play mm -hmm. but not until there was covid right yes okay oh i have a class to play but class not a teaching basketball for f but the class is fun oh that's right <laughs> is it online no the, the basketball not online class Le oh like face to face yes face to face oh okay i see that's great. So you could also learn some skills, right? <laughs> yes. And uh, play some uh, uh, basketball games. Oh, yes, I guess. That's also how, or you could also exercise your body, right? Not just staying at home. <laughs> okay. And, okay, another one. Have you ever touched... Uh, a panda. A panda. I. A panda. I did not see. I didn't see the. So I have ever touched. Oh no, I haven't. No, I haven't. I have touched. I don't think I touch animals in a zoo because it have a glass to protect. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's not like you can easily touch them. Yes. Like, <laughs> okay, that's actually a good idea. Yes, that yes. you have that kind of zoo to protect all of you. Yes. Okay. Have you ever traveled to... um, Yeah, to, let's say to places or beaches in Vietnam? I traveled to, to some place in Vietnam. So I traveled some place in the north and one times I traveled to Nha Trang, Vietnam. Oh. It's a beach. Really? Uh, Is it popular? Yes, so it's popular. Okay, so that's a popular beach in Vietnam, is that? Yes. Wow, how does it look like? Oh, it looked beautiful when I was four. So that time I don't know how to swim. Okay, <laughs> and then when you went back there, how old were you? I go one time. The last time you went there, it's four years old, and I don't. I think I can go it, but in the future. Oh, I see. So the last time was when you were four. Yes. Okay. Uh. Okay. Yes, and you still remember. <laughs> Yeah, you still yes. remember what happened at that time, what or how does the place look like? Yes? Yes, yes. 
Wow. Okay, you have a good memory. <laughs> okay. So, yes. Yeah, so, let's try to ask or you can ask me questions. You can also um, ask me any questions. Yes. Using have you ever. Okay. Have you ever... Have you ever see a mouse? Yes, I have. <laughs> yes, they're small. They are also rats. I've seen them. <laughs> yes, I think it's scary. It is. I I also run after seeing it. <laughs> yes. Not just running, also shouted. <laughs> okay. Have you ever traveled uh, someplace in Philippines? Yes, I have. Yes, only in my um, hometown and other cities. Yes, most, okay. most likely like I like to go to the beach. Yeah. Okay. Okay, one more. One more is... Have you ever played? Have you ever played some uh, football or basketball or volleyball or tennis? Some games have ball. Oh yes, I have. I have played um volleyball. Yes, I have also played um soccer. Yeah, when I was. Yes. Yeah, I know how to I know how to play it, but not really good at it. <laughs> oh, yes. okay. Okay. So is that all your questions? No questions yes. at all. Yes. That's all my questions. Okay. Very good. So now you know how to ask questions using "Have you ever?" All right. So all you have to take note is to answer whether it's "Yes, I have" or "No, I haven't." Okay. So let's try to write something, okay, that has done something as ha and has never done something. Okay, for example, um, Hui Fu has played um, basketball, but he's never went to other country. Okay, so something like that. All right, so yes. I'm... I'm going to say something about you and you say something about me that you have asked earlier. Okay, so you can say teacher has. Teacher has. Uh, teacher has. Uh, see the mouth and travel and not ever played basketball or tennis very good okay so instead of saying have we say has okay so okay has. okay that's right all right so now let's go to the use of english okay so i'll have to read this part some verbs are irregular do you know what are irregular verbs yes i know what irregular verb but they are more difficult to remember. So ask and answer these questions, then make up new questions using the same verbs. Okay, so first one is the verb ride. Okay, what are the questions right there? Have you, please read. Okay. Have you ever ridden a host? Ride. Have you ridden a horse? Mm -hmm. Have you ever ridden a camel? Okay, so this is um for okay, right. How about C? Have you uh, have you ever seen the sea? Have you ever seen a famous person? Okay, and B. Have you ever been a circus? Have you ever been a football match? Okay, correct. So this is how you are going to ask the question using this irregular verbs. So when we say ride, have you ever, sorry, this is ridden a horse. So you can say, yes, I have. No, I haven't. Have you seen? Okay. Have you seen the sea? Yes, I have, right? 
Have yes. you ever okay. seen a famous person? Person? No? No, I haven't. Okay. Have you ever been to a circus? No, I haven't. Have you ever been to a football match? Yes, I have. Okay, very good. One time. One time. <laughs> okay. So, again, you are going to just put E-N, okay, or N if it's an irregular verb. All right. So, it also will depend on the question. Okay. So, let's say write something you have done and something you have never done. So, let's say I've ridden a horse, but I've never ridden a dinosaur. Okay, so that's a correct sentence right there. Now, can you try to use another example? I have or okay. I've. I've read. I've written. Uh, I've uh, haven't. I. I haven't ridden a horse, but I. Okay. Have first, read, yes. First, please uh, say first the thing that you uh, have. Okay, I've written. Uh, I've seen the. I've seen the sea. What? But I've never seen a famous person. Never seen a famous person. Correct. Okay, and that's right. Okay, so that's how you write the sentence. So always take note that if the next word is a connector, please put a comma, okay, before okay. the word. Okay, and of course, when you make a sentence, you always have to put a period at the end of the sentence. Okay, so let's try to read and listen to the poem. Okay, so by Julie Larius, have you ever done that? So please read. Okay. Have you ever done that? Have you ever slept outside on a hot summer night? Everything looks different in the moon's straight light. The tree seems to whisper as you bravely whisper back outside at night. Have you ever done that? I've never slept outside on a hot summer night, but I've ridden in a boat, been touched like a kite on dark wheel, waved with the wind at my back on a boat in a storm. Had you ever done that? Yes, okay. That's a great poem, right? Yeah, so yes. it was uh, for Julie Larius. I think she was imagining things, okay? Like, have you ever done that? Okay, have you ever done... Um, okay, have you ever done riding on a boat and being tossed like a kite on a dark wild waves like this one in the picture? Have you ever... <laughs> No, I not ever. Oh, I haven't. Yes. So yes, it's, I haven't ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it could also be just like a dream or um, imagination. Yes, it can be either the two. All right. So um, we are going to read a Nas written story. Okay. So I guess this is the story. So it's about a fair solution. So we will talk about, yeah. have you ever been to a shop that has a delicious smell? Mm, yes, I have ever to a shop with a delicious smell. What was the shop? I don't know the name of the shop. And but what was the, the smell is mm, delicious. Delicious. What was the smell like? Like... A meat or something like candy. Wow. <laughs> yes. But you don't know what is that food. Yes. Ah, the smell is just so good. Yes. Okay. Yes. So let's read this story from Turkey. It is about a man called Nasridin 
who always teaches a wise lesson. Okay, so let's read. Okay. One day, a poor man walked by a fine, expensive restaurant. He smelled the delicious food. The man was hungry and tired. He sat down outside with a restaurant and took out a piece of dry bread. If I smell this wonderful smell when I eat my bread, I can pretend I'm eating a lovely meal. He thought. The man closed his eyes. He imagined, imagined a delicious meal of fish, vegetables, root, fruit, and cakes. The rich restaurant owner came outside and jet out the poor man. Stop. You're enjoying the smell of my delicious food. Just pay me for that. But I am only enjoying a smell in the air. I haven't eaten any of your food, said the poor man. The smells are mine. They come from my delicious food. Pay me the money. Depend the rich man. No, said the poor man. That's not fair. I know I won't pay you. Then we go to judge, said the rich man. He will make you pay. A judge on the town was Narsden. Narsden was clever and wise. Tell me the problem. Narsden say to the rich man. The rich man pointed to the poor man. The man sat outside my restaurant and enjoyed the smell of my delicious food. Delicious food. The food belonged to me and does the smell of the food. I want this man to pay me money for enjoying those wonderful smells, said the rich man. Is that true that you enjoyed the of this man delicious foods? No. Not ready as the poor man. Yes, it's true. It's the poor man. Give me the your money then, said Nas ready. Sadly, the poor man gave Nas ready a small bag of coins. I haven't got much money. This is all I have, said the poor man. Nas ready. Nas took the bag of coins and held it next to a rich man's ear. He shook the back to the coin. Can you hear the sound of this money? Not ready. Actually, <laughs> rich man, of course, said the rich man. Good said not ready. This is your payment. The poor man enjoyed the smell of your food. Now you have enjoyed the sound of his money. This is a fair solution. Nasreddin ready handed the bag of coins back to the poor man. You're free to go now, Nasreddin said to the poor man. The problem has been solved. Thank you, said the poor man. You're welcome, says Nasreddin. Okay, so uh, that's the story about... What's the story um, the affair solution. So do you get the point here? Yes. So is this is called a fair solution because the situation at first wasn't fair for the poor man, right? Yes. Because the, the rich man wanted the poor man to pay. To pay just because he just smelled the delicious food that the rich man has. So Yes. Yes, but the poor man hasn't got enough money to pay the rich man. So what did the rich man did? He called Nasreddin. So Nasreddin is as I mean is a wise man. So what did he, Nasreddin do? He he took the bag of coins and held it next to the man's ear to the rich man's ear. And ask, can you hear the sound of this money? So, of course. And then, that's the time she or he said, that's now a fair solution. Or this is now a fair solution. Okay, why does it's a fair solution? Why do you think so? Because? Why is it fair now? 
because is the man is here. Mm -hmm. Okay, Can I hear the sound. Okay. Hear the sound of the money. Okay, the coins coming from the poor man, right? Yes. Okay, so here it's just hearing. And then at first, the poor man was just smelling, right? Yes, the smelling. smelling and the rich man just hearing. Okay, correct. So that's already fair for them. Okay, no one did or, I mean, the poor man didn't do anything bad for the yes. rich man. So it's just that the rich man was so arrogant. Yes. Okay, so that's about the story. Now, let's try to answer the questions. Who are the three characters in this story? The character of the story is Nasreddin. Nasreddin. Who else? There are three. Nasreddin. The poor man and the rich man. Correct. What did the poor man do while he ate his dry bread? He smelled the delicious food. Okay, he just he was just smelling. And what did the rich man say when he yelled at the poor man? He said that the poor man is smelled that the Yes. The smells so, of the, the delicious food. So he has to pay. He has to pay. Correct. Yes. And how did the poor man feel when Nasruddin said, give me your money? And why? Because I don't uh, know yet. The sound of his money is a fair solution. Okay, yes. So, um, how did the poor man feel? Okay, the poor man feels like he was shocked, right? So, give me yes. your money because Nasruddin said, give me your money. So, why did Nasruddin do this? Just to have a fair solution, okay? And what did Nasruddin do with the bag of coins? What did he do? He held it and... And shake it. Shake it where? Shake it in to, the... To the rich man's. To the rich man's. Yes, where? Ears. <laughs> yes. Of course. Okay, so let's fill in the missing words there. Nasruddin said to the rich man, the poor man enjoyed the blank of your food. Okay, what's, what is the next word there? The poor man enjoyed the of your food. Mm, the smells of your okay. food. The smell of your food. Now you have enjoyed the? The, you have enjoyed the, Sound of his money. Sound of his money. That is a... That is a fair solution. Correct. Okay, so good job. So you just have to take note of Nasruddin's quotation or what Nasruddin did or say in the story. So we'll, it will give you a lesson. All right? okay okay so anyways i guess we're running out of time so let's just continue this one in our next class okay 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 thank you see you again bye bye